Hi, I'm Alistair Davidson, a Master Trainer for DaVinci Resolve, and today we're going to take a look at the Magic Mask. In previous releases of Resolve, if we wanted to track and mask any of our subjects, we'd have to do so manually by either creating multiple windows or creating a custom window which we then go to our tracker palette and track. With Resolve 17, we no longer have to do this as we have what's called the Magic Mask tool. It's this palette here on the colour page. And to use it, all I have to do is make sure that I have my plus picker icon selected here, and then just draw a small line over the talent that I want to highlight. You'll see that I can toggle the mask overlay in the top right here to show which part of my image is and is not selected. And then all I have to do is come to the transport controls along the top here and hit play. Resolve will play through the clip, analyze it, and if I now play through again with the mask showing, you'll see the part of the image that it's selected as a person. If we want to track, say, specific features, in the top left of the palette here, I can switch between person and features here, and I can choose which part of that person I want to track. So for this second rancher in this clip that I'm working on, I'm going to select face. I'm just going to draw a small line on his face there, and I will play forwards and play backwards again, just like that. And you'll see now that we have a bit of a track on his face. We can obviously go in and clean this up with all these tools along here, but that's the basics for how we use the magic mask tool. I hope this has been helpful. Let us know if there's anything else you want to know about DaVinci Resolve by contacting the ScanPro video team.